In mid-2025, Huawei shook things up by filing a patent for a nitrogen sulfide-based solid-state battery that has 400 to 500 watt-hours per kilogram energy density. They said it will fully charge in just five minutes and boasted a driving range of up to 3,000 kilometers. That's over 2,000 kilometers by tougher EPA standards. The nitrogen-doped sulfide electrolyte in this battery would supposedly fix interface stability issues with lithium metal. And they are not even an EV battery manufacturer yet, but them entering into this space is something other rivals might not catch up with. Yes, most electric vehicles today run on lithium-ion batteries with liquid electrolytes. They work fine, but they come with some baggage, like flammability, limited energy density, and they degrade over time and everyone is turning towards solid-state batteries. Also, solid-state batteries are not in mass production yet, as what we are seeing is a wave of semi-solid batteries slash hybrid batteries hitting the market. But can they catch up? As we continue, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel with the bell notification turned on for more videos. Back in 2014, Toyota showed off a solid-state battery prototype and boldly claimed that by 2021, all their electric cars would run on this new tech. That didn't happen. Fast forward to 2023, and they made headlines again, this time saying they had a working prototype that could deliver 1,200 kilometers of range and charge in just 10 minutes, that it will be commercialized in five years, then mass-produced in 2030. But many are not buying into their over-promising and undelivered. Nissan plans to test solid-state battery production in 2025, hoping to scale by 2029. Prologium is building a 5.2 billion euro gigafactory in Dunkirk, France, prepping to supply Mercedes-Benz and others by 2027-2028. EcoProBM is also developing high-performance sulfide electrolytes, with full-scale manufacturing expected in 2026 to 2027. The only thing close to real solid state is in Beijing Weilion, as they have quietly started manufacturing a 50H all-solid state cell, not for cars yet, but for smaller devices, and with a seven year lifespan. Chinese automakers will take over the EV market share. Leaders like Toyota, Panasonic, Samsung SDI have invested in solid state and have been working on it for 14 years, but only one of them has a solid state battery in the car. They are still stuck in development or plotline stage. But Chinese companies are taking the lead, and they are way ahead of even Japan and South Korea in terms of real-world development. Chinese companies are now filing over 7,600 solid-state battery patents every year, making efforts in the US, Europe, or Japan seem little, including Xiaomi too. Xiaomi filed a patent for a composite electrode structure to optimize ion transport. They also filed for solid-state batteries. CATL and BYD are both investing in in-house solid-state research, with production targets set for the late 2020s. BYD even recently shocked the industry with its 1,000-kilowatt charging system. It's not news that Innovate, GAC, and Dongfang are all working on integrating solid-state or semi-solid batteries into next-gen luxury or long-range models. Even NEO plus WeLion's 150-kilowatt-hour semi-solid pack is already on the road, offering real-world 1,000-kilometer range. Can Tesla's Model Y battery match Huawei's claim? Huawei claims its new EV battery can reach an energy density of 400 to 500 watt-hour kilogram, which is significantly higher than the 250 to 270 watt-hours per kilogram found in Tesla's current 4680 battery cells used in some Model Y trims. Even if Tesla were to achieve 500 watt-hours per kilogram, it wouldn't automatically translate to a 3,000 kilometer range. Higher density batteries in EV, EVs using higher density batteries might be smaller or lighter, but ultra long ranges, like 1,000 kilometers, remain difficult due to limitations in battery packaging, cooling, and total vehicle weight. Some European drivers argue they need 800 to 1,000 kilometers ranges and ultra fast 500 kilowatt charging for highway travel, but most EVs today prioritize balanced range, affordability, and efficiency. Solid state batteries could reduce weight and improve efficiency potentially making EVs lighter than combustion cars, and many believe Huawei will deliver the promise. Huawei is already using massive batteries on industrial trucks, and they currently have the fastest charger in the world, 1.5 megawatts, and if it works as hoped, then even aviation will be revolutionized and go electric. Even shipping and heavy-duty industries will not be left out. What about Samsung solid-state battery? You can't buy EVs with Samsung solid-state batteries now, but they are car companies using solid-state batteries from Samsung in their cars. It's more like they are testing, driving to see how long the battery will last for, and see if it can do the job over a long period of time. 
Samsung SDI began pilot production of its all-solid-state battery, ASSB, in late 2023 or early 2024, sent her prototype samples to automakers including Hyundai, General Motors and Stellantis, and the reports have been positive so far. The ASSB is said to deliver up to approximately 500 watt per kilogram, roughly 600 miles, approximately 960 kilometers of range and can charge to approximately 80% in as little as 9 minutes. It's also rated for over 1,000 full charge cycles and a lifespan of 20 years. The initial deployment is aimed at super premium EVs, where higher cost is acceptable, with mass production expected around 2027. Even Mercedes-Benz is currently running a road test of a lithium metal solid-state battery in a modified EQS prototype, but not with Samsung SDI. Mercedes-Benz partnered with Factorial Energy and they began the test in early 2025. For now, the fastest charging EV battery currently in production and tested comes from Zeker under Geely, their new 5.5C lithium iron phosphate LFP battery, also known as the Golden Battery, has been shown to charge from 10% to 80% in as little as 9 minutes, 45 seconds. Geely's Zeker 007 sedan, Zeker 7X SUV, were tested using the Golden Battery. Even the current largest battery company isn't folding its arms. CATL aims to begin the small volume production of a hybrid solid state battery in 2027. They confirm that they are 7 to 8 out of 9. Ready and Envision energy densities around 500 watt per kilogram in their solid state prototypes. CATL's recent Shenqing battery can reportedly add 323 miles, approximately 520 kilometers of EV range in just 5 minutes of charging, and charge from 5% to 80% in 15 minutes, even at negative 10 degrees Celsius. CATL is already dominating the global EV industry with about 38% market share, and if they are faster than Huawei to produce a 2,000km solid state, their market share will go up. While solid-state batteries will be the best thing that will happen to EVs, it is known to degrade faster than traditional batteries, especially at high current rates and large format cells, and they are extremely expensive. Estimated at $1,100 to $1,400 per kilowatt hour, with production complexity and supply chain readiness. For comparison, commercial lithium-ion packs, LFP or NCM, are around $130 to $150 per kilowatt hour, depending on chemistry and scale. Experts believe mass deployment is still years away due to unresolved issues in ion conduction, interfacial resistance, durability, manufacturing uniformity, and long-term safety controls. It's one thing to build a lab cell, another to make millions of identical ones. China's industry standard, TCSAE 4342025, now strictly defines solid state as only batteries with fully solid electrolytes. So hybrid or semi-liquid hybrid designs cannot be marketed as solid state anymore. Is Huawei going to deliver on this promise? Huawei is building a safe cycle life by trying to mitigate this degradation, and once they fix it, it will be mass produced. Yes, they are not the only ones working on solid state batteries but they are the only ones people have seen near this kind of range. The energy density will be 500 watts per kilogram, double the energy density of today's higher energy density NMC. If my car had a 2000 kilometers range, I would only charge a year. Haha, <laughs> Huawei's involvement in solid state batteries means they have lots of backings, as they are recently just showing interest in battery materials. Huawei has strategic ties with major Chinese automakers like SAIC Motor, Chang'an, Via Avatar, BAIC, and Ceres which are all part of Huawei's smart car strategy called the HEMA. Avatar technology paid 11.5 BUON, approximately $1.5 billion, for a 10% stake in Huawei's EV unit Yinwang, tying Huawei directly into EV manufacturing relationships, coupled with the fact that they will be backed by Chinese government with investment and priority access to materials unlike other countries. If Huawei succeeds first, then the industry is in trouble. Huawei is a serious company, they usually push through on what they say. If they fully embark on it, they will be the major suppliers of batteries to EVs with no chance for the industry to recover. Think of Huawei expanding these factories in a few years if the prototype succeeds. Think of electric cars with a range of 1,000 miles, over 1,600 kilometers being.